Andy Mogul. Hey everyone, welcome to BFX. This week I'm going to show you how to make the device that creates shots like you're seeing right now. It's called a Snorri Cam and is totally awesome. This is not the first time Indie Mogul has shown you how to make a Snorri Cam. Almost two years ago, we brought you an amazing tutorial sent in by Indie Mogul viewers Mark and Cody. And today, we're going to be adding to their already great design. For those of you who don't know what a Snorri Cam is, it's a camera mount that attaches to an actor's body. It points directly at their face, and as they move around, their face stays stationary and the rest of the world moves around them. It's great for creating a weird and dreamy look. It's a favorite tool of Darren Aronofsky and has even been used by Martin Scorsese. Here to spin the wheel and determine this project's budget is Gary, the puppet. An old skateboard or some plywood, more scrap plywood, about five feet of nylon strap, two matching strap buckles, some quarter inch foam padding, a bungee cord, four metal corner brackets, and miscellaneous bolts, nuts, washers, and screws. I'm here to see Helen. Best Job Ever is a weekly series profiling the coolest jobs in the tech space. Check it out at bestjobsever.net. Are you listening? Maybe you'll find your best job ever. This project is rated skill level 4. Our Snorri Cam will consist of a rear and front support, a fixed arm, and a pivoting arm. The first step is to take your skateboard deck and cut it in half with a jigsaw. Now take one of these pieces and cut about 3 inches off the nose, then sand all the rough edges. At this point I traced out both pieces onto some foam sheet and cut out some padding. Set these foam pieces aside for later. Now onto the stationary arm. This baby is going to have two different places where the pivoting arm can attach and each will be adjustable. Draw a shape like this onto some sturdy plywood and cut out with a jigsaw. In hindsight, I probably would have made this shape a little bit longer because it puts the camera pretty close to the actor's face. A wide angle lens or smaller camera should fix this problem. Use some L brackets to bolt on the stationary arm to your front support. Now we're ready to move on to the pivot arm. For this part, you'll need a one x three that is about 20 inches long. Cut this in half so that you have one piece that's about 13 inches long and another that's seven inches long. Next, simply use some more L brackets to make an offset T-shape like so. Now we have all the major parts. Let's drill some holes and bolt them together. Start by using a compass to draw a small circle at the end of your pivot arm. Drill out the center and two small holes on opposite sides. Then hammer in a carriage bolt in the center. Now draw two of the same circles at the end of your stationary arm and drill out the centers. By sliding the carriage bolt into these new center holes, you can use the smaller side holes as drill guides. I drilled out six holes, which gives you three different positions to adjust your arm. Or just chisel out the space in between these holes and make your arm fully adjustable. Now grab your other skateboard half, the little piece of skateboard will be cut off, and your nylon straps. Hot glue the straps to the little piece like so, then screw it on to the rest of the deck. Next, use a metal bracket to bolt on the bungee cord like so. Our bungee cord is about two and a half feet long. Going back to the front support, bolt on two small metal brackets that your bungee cord will hook into. Also, bolt on the two plastic strap buckles to the top. The last steps are to make sure all your bolts are tight. Glue on your padding and drill a hole at the top of your pivot arm so that you have a place to attach your camera to your new Snorri Cam. All right, everybody, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode and this week's project. Remember that we're always taking requests from you. We build everything from simple filmmaking tools to special effects makeup, all the fun and cheap way every Monday. 
see you next week. What kind of scene would you film using a snorri cam? Let us know by leaving a comment down below. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs>